going everyone i hope you're having an amazing day today i'm taking a walk through my local park here found a nice spot of trees thought i'd film a youtube video for you guys um i wanted to make it about social anxiety I made a short about this a couple days ago and um I, I did want to expand on on that idea because i basically just gave you guys the the bare bones idea the bare bones framework for for how this works so i wanted to expand on that a little bit so with social anxiety 99 percent of the time it's going to be because you have some insecurity about yourself that you're not really comfortable with you haven't fully come to terms with and you don't want other people to figure it out basically you you don't want other people to see that same insecurity within you and agree with it you don't want them to validate it because it's one thing for for you to believe that about yourself and try and repress that but if someone else says the same thing about you that's probably gonna sting a little because it because at that point it's no longer just your your de delusional thinking it's you know someone actually believes this about you so it, it there's a good chance part of it is true anyways you get the point um you don't you don't want your insecurities revealed to other people because you probably haven't fully come to terms with them and that brings me to the second part which is how to deal with those insecurities and i i like to group them into two different categories you have your insecurities that are just a part of who you are and that's just how you behave that's how you think that's who you are and you might have some insecurities about who you are but at the end of the day there are some things you just got to accept you know if it's the color of your skin or your eyes or the shape of your nose or certain personality traits or interests or tendencies you have in social settings a lot of those can just be a part of who you are and you just need to accept that and love yourself for who you are now the second category of insecurities is when you know there is actually something wrong here you do have some deficiency in your in your character or or whatever it is at, at some in some area of your life that you probably should get better at and should change and those are the ones where you know those are the ones where you're justified in having social anxiety if you know if you're fat and lazy and don't exercise and on top of that you're an asshole and you're broke and and you're you just can't connect with people and you're and just people don't like you good there's a very very good chance a lot of that is something you can fix you know it's <laughs> a big part of that is not going to be it's just who you are just accept it no like if if your life sucks that's probably on you and fair enough if you have some social anxiety cuz if your life is in shambles why shouldn't you have social anxiety okay like you're you cuz you feel like you're not enough to to be in that environment you you feel like like you're a fraud like oh they're going to figure me out at some point right that's where the social anxiety comes from at a certain point now to prevent that from happening you have to come to terms with your insecurities or eliminate them altogether depending on what type it is so if it's the first type and it's just part of who you are and maybe it's something you don't like about yourself but you really can't change it at all just accept it man just just be like i love myself this is who i am this aspect of me is not going to change and there's nothing i can do to change it it's just part of who i am and i love myself so that you got to accept it you know 
It's just part of who you are. And hopefully you love yourself enough to to accept that. And if you don't, go do it. You can actually control it. Um, <laughs> right? You, you can make an effort to love yourself more and respect yourself more. Um, but that brings me to the second type of problem. Because you can... You can make the effort in your head to love yourself despite your your insecurities. And that works very well with the first type of insecurity, but at the end of the day, especially with the second type, you have to actually put in some work. Like you're going to you're going to have to actually do something that's going to that's going to improve your life in some way. So whether it's you start going to the gym, get in shape, you start making more money, you know, like start learning things to make more money or start learning charisma, learning, you know, how to talk to people, how to influence and and get people to like you, how to, you know, all, all these different things like I, you know, your facial expressions, your tone of voice, your body language. Um, all the different things that you can use to communicate to people, you can learn about that, get better at actually talking to people. A lot of the time when we have social anxiety, I've noticed this in a lot of people, um, including myself sometimes, the social, the insecurity that is creating the social anxiety is just that you don't really know how to interact with people. You, you, you don't have the, the, the social awareness or the skills yet to actually successfully communicate with someone and have a good interaction. That's where the anxiety comes from a lot of the time. So, and that is, you know, part of that, if you're an introvert, maybe, it's just part of who you are, just accept it. But if it's because you have no social awareness, and you can't pick up on social cues, then learn to pick up on social cues. Learn what the social cues are, okay? Like, closed off body language. They probably disagree with something you said, or they're off-put by you in some way. And if they're not, like, completely relaxed, if they're, like, arms crossed and, like, you know... Their eyes are kind of squinted. They're kind of looking at you like, what did you just say? Like, that means that, you know, that's probably a bad sign. It, this is stuff that you can learn to read, okay? And it's really not that complicated. It's, it's not easy. It'll take a lot of work and effort and time. But really, it's not that complicated. You just got to put in the work become the person that you need to be, that you want to be, become your ideal self, because what else are you going to do, right? I mean, what, what are you going to just sit around, play video games, jerk off all day, and not achieve your full potential? Is, is that what you want to do? I hope not. If that's what you want to do, you should not be watching my videos. But I'm assuming if you're watching this, that's probably not you. So I know you want to achieve your potential. You want to do something great in your life. You want to be able to have great interactions with people. So start working on that. Okay? Just be the person that you want to be. Work towards being your best self and developing the qualities in yourself that you want to see and <clears throat> that's really where the the confidence comes from that is going to eliminate the social anxiety if you can see that you're you're working on yourself and and you're making progress and you're becoming better that's going to fill you with so much confidence and so much courage for life you're, you're just going to be like, motherfucker, I'm doing everything I can. I'm like, you are the shit if you're doing all that. And 
the insecurities are alleviated because, you know, maybe you have this deficiency about you, but at the very least, you're working to improve it, you know? Like, maybe you're 40 pounds overweight, but at least you're going to the gym and you're getting in better shape. Like, it, it's not like you're 40 pounds overweight and you're still eating pizza and drinking beer every night and, you know, just eating bad food and and you're just perpetuating the cycle. It's no wonder you're 40 pounds overweight if you do that all the time and you're going to feel like shit as a result because there's something in your life that you don't like about yourself and you're not doing anything to change it. That's where the social anxiety comes in. Because you're like, you're in a desperate state there. You're like, I'm unprepared and I'm not moving forward. That That's a really terrible position to be in. And if you get outed at that point, it's, you know, a lot of stress and anxiety going on in your head at that moment. So you have to, at the very least, be improving on your weak spots if there's something you don't like about yourself really like put in the work make it your intention to fix that problem about yourself and become a better person and and it's once you start seeing the progress that you're actually getting better that you have that that air about you of you know like you know you're doing the work. You know you're getting better. And I, I really can't explain it with words, man. You have, to, you have to experience this for yourself. So what, what I would like you to do after this video is pick one thing. Pick one thing that you don't necessarily like about yourself all that much. And, and it would be great if if that got better, you know, if it's your social skills, if it's your charisma, yeah, may, charisma is a skill, okay, you can talk to people, and you can learn how to talk to people, and if that's what it is, just improve on that, you know, if it's, if you're overweight, start going to the gym, whatever it is, pick one thing that you want to improve about yourself, and just stick to it for a hundred days, you know, you don't have to be perfect, you know, I, I miss days here and there sometimes, but just have a goal in your mind, three months and ten days from now, you're gonna keep doing this until then, and it needs to be a, a small consistent action that you can do on a daily basis, so if it's your charisma, Introduce yourself to one new person every day. Talk to one new person every day. And try out new things with your speech patterns. Try different jokes or rapport building techniques. Stuff like that. If you want to get in better shape, start going to the gym. Start eating healthier. And, and I'm not even talking about picking one thing like getting in shape. I'm talking about pick one action that is going to move you closer to your goals. So if you want to get in better shape, pick an action like go to the gym every, you know, three days or every week, two, three times a week, whatever it is for you. Whatever you think you can manage right now, just do it, okay? Just commit to making that a priority. Make improving yourself a priority and be diligent about it because that's really when you start seeing the results okay so pick one aspect of your life that you want to change pick one action that you're going to do to improve on that and just stay consistent with it for a hundred days and if you miss a day or two it happens you know like don't beat yourself up about it seriously the important part is that you don't stop. You get back on the horse. Because if you make it 30 days straight and then you miss one day, like, sure, that sucks. You, you lost your 
streak of doing things consistently. But if you stop there, you only made it 30 days, okay? You, you, you only made it 30 days. You, you only get to see the results of 30 days worth of efforts. And while missing a day might be a little setback, it's a lot better to just get back on it and keep going. If it sets you back a day or two, so what? Just do it for two more days, and then you're back up to where you were before, and you can just keep going, keep improving. It's the consistency over time that's going to get you those results, that is going to fill you with the confidence you need to really come to terms with your insecurities, be comfortable with them, be okay with them. And so... If it's something about yourself that you can't really change, that, that you know, that's going to take some spiritual work. You're just going to have to accept that. But, but really, if it's something that you can and should change, just start working on it. And just the mere fact that you're making progress is going to alleviate so much of that insecurity and so much of the social anxiety just because you're, you know you're getting better and you know you're getting out of this, this helpless state where you might be in right now. And that gives you courage because it's not like you're just in a shit situation and you're staying there. That sucks. That's like, why wouldn't you be anxious and depressed? No, this, like, once you're making progress, actual genuine progress that you can see in the areas of your life that you care about, then you're like, I might be in a shit situation right now, but at least it's getting better. I know six months from now, it's going to be better, okay? And that really alleviates a lot of the insecurities you have. And insecurities, as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, are really the basis for social anxiety. So... If you can come to terms with your insecurities or eliminate them altogether by just becoming better, then you will be able to eliminate social anxiety. It's really not that complicated. It just takes hard work, dedication, time, and effort. Okay? You just got to... You just got to learn to love yourself, learn to accept yourself for who you are, but also learn to love yourself for who you could be and chase that person that you could be. And that is just going to, that that's how you get rid of insecurity and consequently social anxiety. So I think you get the point, guys. Um, if I keep talking at this point, I'll just be repeating myself. So I, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. I hope you, you were able to take something away from this video, um, something useful. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you, if you like this video, if you found it helpful. If you like this more sort of free-flowing lecture type thing, or if you like more structure in the longer videos, let me know what you think, guys. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it a lot every every like counts and um yeah it just makes me happy I, I i'm not even talking about the youtube algorithm just like if you want to if you want to make me happy drop a like it, it'll let me know that that this was helpful and that you liked the video and yeah i will see you guys in the next one very soon